What is up, everybody? Welcome to the Burndown YouTube channel. So today's gonna be a little bit of a talking head video because it is sprinkling raining. It's supposed to be gone by tomorrow. Today is the last of it, at least for a while. Um, a lot of you guys, I know you're like, what are you complaining about, Dane? You live in California, it's always sunny. Well, yeah, we're not used to rain, man. This is terrible. Anyways, I digress. So I did spend a little bit of time we braved the weather and I was quick enough to get in and get the radiator out. So I might as well show you guys that real quick, show you what it looks like. So cooler is in place. Here's a motor. Uh, yeah, we don't ever really see the front of this because it's always blocked by a big old Mamma Jamma radiator. But yeah, that's essentially what she looks like. That's the inside. Look at that war performance, solid body. Shout out to my boys over at war. And they were awesome enough to sponsor me with that bread box intake as well. So thank you very much guys. Trailblazer SS on that thing, courtesy of war. So here is the original radiator I got. So if you look at the size of this and you look at the size of that, kind of doesn't really add up, honestly. This thing is for some form or fashion of a Mopar. Um, and I got it because it fit width wise. And they're like, oh, this is for a big block and this is a champion cooling systems radiator however i did not purchase it from champion cooling systems um, directly uh, because i didn't know like a lot of people that look for a champion radiator nine times out of ten you don't get directed uh, directly to them so follow the link that i have in the description if you want to get in touch directly with champion cooling systems that's who you want to deal with and then you want to get your radiators uh, through them directly so i bought this before i had even met those them or talk to them or anything this is for like an a body mopar i believe it was um the thing fits these fans killer so this is a, the actual fan shroud for the chevy volt with the dual 12s uh just immaculate so that thing bolts on and is rad except we were a bit close i had to shave this down uh because of width so that is the pump getting into that the water pump on the ls so that guy over there is the new replacement with this new hotness so this essentially is the same width let me grab my tape measure oh the core on this thing too this is a uh, 17 and a half roughly by 26 i want to say uh, let me stretch this guy out over here the old one-handed tape measure huh yeah so we're about 26 a little over right on the core itself so this is the core portion this guy is much bigger we are looking at a core of 24 that's not even that's not even counting the tank that's just that portion by bam look at that a little under 26 so technically we're a little more narrow and we have all of this stuff and they asked me they're like oh you, you need me to take that off heck no we're gonna use this stuff to mount things uh like said fan here so another interesting fun fact let's see where our overall i mean we grew quite a bit i think overall yeah we're only barely barely over 22 to the top of that bam look at that thing 30 to the top of that and if we're counting the cap we're like 31 and a half counting the cap on this guy we're at like 23 and a quarter also the tank volume i love this too there's some added volume there we got a four inch tank and this guy was two and three quarter so the amount of volume we're going to pick up alone is just going to be phenomenal um the, the width of the radiator itself i believe is pretty well the same i want to say it's like a three three row right but the tank you know you can see it has overhang that's just added volume that's added water on the bottom similar size uh tanks for the most part this one looks a little deeper maybe but yeah not terribly larger but the top tank um that's going to give us a lot of volume and again the surface area and the volume of the water are basically how it cools the motor so well also the airflow 
that's where this guy comes into play. So when you're just cruising down the road, all of this is gonna take care of you, or it should if it's properly sized. And when you're sitting, this is really what you're gonna lean on, whether it's mechanical or brushless or what have you. So the other thing I learned technically too, was I looked these up and I'm like, oh, it's too big for that core, right? But now that I set that against there, if one wanted to get froggy, um, and you, you did have a small radiator, you could still make some side mounts to hold this on there, right? You, you don't get anything on the top order, but who cares about that anyway, right? So technically, I could have just went straight for this bad boy, although it gets into the center section. So uh, we have our work cut out for us. I'll turn the camera off and measure a bunch. I just want to show you guys. Let me set up a little side by side so you guys can see exactly uh the, the difference but this thing is a monster this new uh champion cooling systems radiator they're both champion cooling systems but the new one uh, i went back and forth for a long time and i believe this is a ford truck radiator i'm not even sure what it's out of i just gave dimensions uh, and they helped me out and look through the vast catalog i mean they have so many radiators if you need one uh reach out to them go figure out and see if they have what you need they're going to be the right price for a great product. So we'll end this thing with a little music. We'll put it side by side. I'll give you a look at what we went from and what we're going to. And this really should solve, I mean, any sort of heating issue. Again, we were doing good. I can't say that we weren't doing well. But honestly, the amount of volume alone in the surface area, I feel like it's set it, forget it, man. If I had The only other thing, if I had cruise control, we could just set it forget it wherever you want to go and i don't think this thing is going to have any more uh heating issues unless we have an actual issue so let's get a look at these two side by side and get this thing wrapped thank you guys for watching until next time i'm out <laughs>